You guys ever crank start an engine? I think Kyle's pretty good at that. I've never had a man show me how to crank start an engine before. Let's go! Okay, so we're in my sugar house right now. If you take a look at this, this tractor's from 1937. There was no electric starter because in 1937 they didn't have batteries that were sufficiently strong enough to crank an engine over. So we're gonna teach you how to crank start an engine today. One of the things that's important to do, you always check neutral, neutral. on your crawler. Because these will start in gear, there's no safeties on them, and obviously you're standing in front of it, it will run you over. Back in the day, when they made the key switch, in essence it's just a thimble. Advance your throttle three clicks, turn your fuel on, and we're gonna come to the front of the truck. It's important to remember when you're cranking, you push the crank in. That catches the front of the crankshaft. Take note of my hand. You have to put your thumb on the top of the crank. If you don't and the engine fires backwards, it will dislocate your thumb when it starts. You get a good hand on the light hold, and it's, it's a, momentum, it's getting used to how to do it. There's a technique to it. So you're obviously still getting used to the technique, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be better with a crank. Talk a big game right now. <laughs> Mike's got a lot of experience cranking it these days. <laughs> <laughs> Who's giving me a crank? You in neutral before you kill yeah. me? <laughs> Alright John, so we've seen a lot of manly shit. Why is there a giant train behind us? Obviously you guys know as young boys we all like to play with trains. You notice I only wear Woolrich coats. They're hard to find. They were made in the 60s, but it feels like you're wearing a sheep scrotum. <laughs> <laughs>